Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Dan Wilton. I'm the CEO of First Mining Gold. Uh, great to see everyone in a, uh, such an enthusiastic environment. We haven't seen an environment like this in a while in the gold sector, and it's just great to see uh, so many people back out looking at, at resource investing opportunities here. Uh, I'm going to make a couple of forward-looking statements as I, uh, as I go through this presentation. Uh, First Mining is moving forward two world-class multi-million ounce gold projects in a couple of the best jurisdictions on earth to be mining in uh, Ontario and Quebec. So our pre-feasibility stage uh, Spring Pole gold project in Ontario, one of the largest gold projects in Canada. We're in the middle of the environmental assessment process and, uh, and uh, feasibility process. We're about 75% done our feasibility study. Um, submitted a draft environmental assessment with Spring Pole uh, in May of last year and have received first round of comments back from all of the regulators, so making very good progress on that. Uh, and most recently, uh, and even this morning, we've continued to consolidate around our Duparquet project in Quebec. This is a project with three and a half million ounces MI and other million and a half ounces of inferred resource uh, sitting 30 kilometers from Rouen Aranda on the Porcupine Destor Fault, you know, in one of the prime areas in the Abitibi Gold Belt. So we're moving that forward. We'll talk a little bit about that. Uh, we have a number of other uh, wholly owned projects and JV assets that really give us the flexibility on how we keep this company financed moving forward. And uh, a significant royalty portfolio. We sold one of our royalties in December uh, this past year for nine and a half million dollars. So it kind of gives you a sense of the, of the scale of the opportunity we have in those royalties. So we'll just talk quickly. We've talked about uh, where most of the projects are here. Uh, company is sitting today with about 800 million shares outstanding. Market cap about 170 million Canadian today. Um, after we closed our royalty acquisition, 16 million in cash. And then another, call it $50 million of cash, marketable securities, uh, future cash and share payments and value of our joint venture interest. So we have great leverage to an increase in gold environment for that. Um, uh, trade on average uh, between 800,000 and a million shares a day in Toronto and about uh, half that again in the US. So um, why we are so excited about first mining and the, and the assets that we have, fundamentally, we are sitting with two of the top 15 by size gold projects in Canada that are uh, advancing through development. And when you look at this list, most of the projects on the left-hand side of this list, Cote, Blackwater, Greenstone, Back River, uh, Valentine, all of those projects uh, are in construction right now. So over the next two years, most of those projects will be built. First Mining is going to house two of the top 10 gold projects projects in Canada. These are projects that are big enough to and scope to produce, in some cases, more than 300,000 ounces a year. These are some of the biggest projects, big enough to be meaningful to the biggest gold producers in the world, and in fantastic tier one jurisdictions. So we're trading today at about $8 an ounce. Let's call it 0.1 times our fundamental value. And we think that fundamental value will show uh, increasing as we look at uh, advancing Duparquet and demonstrating what we think is a really robust project that we can scope at Duparquet. You know, these, uh, all the rest of these multiples versus industry peers are reflecting really pretty beat up valuations historically. If you go back over cycles, typically your advanced developers should trade at 0.5 times their fundamental value. You know, they get financed, they trade up to 0.7 and get acquired at one times their fundamental value. So, you know, uh, this is clear multiples of uh, opportunity here, in large part because we're sitting in this orphan period in the Lassonde curve, in, in the development curve of mining projects. But what this means is that we really are in that shortest time frame from where we are now to a value re-rating when we hit milestones. So we're very excited about that. Uh, ESG, we say ESG is central to our business. I Most of what we do is ESG. We are collecting a lot of environmental data. We're working with local and indigenous communities around our projects. 
and uh, have made some great strides in terms of indigenous employment and, and gender balance in our team. So very proud of our work on ESG. So a little bit about Springpole. The project is located about 100 kilometers east of Red Lake, an area of great infrastructure. We've got uh, a road within 18 kilometers of the project. Uh, we've got a brand new uh, 230 kV power line that's been built within about 60, 70 kilometers of the project. So ultimately we'll connect this uh, project to grid power, but it's an area really in between two historic mining camps at Pickle Lake and Red Lake. So this area of northwestern Ontario uh, is a great place to be doing work. And see here the reserves, 3.8 million ounces at, uh, at approximately a gram gold and five gram silver. Uh, and as we scoped it in our pre-feasibility study, average annual gold production in the core years of the mine life in excess of 300,000 ounces a year. So this is a globally significant project in a great jurisdiction. Uh, and the one thing that we haven't talked enough about, and you're going to start hearing a lot more about it from us, is the opportunity with exploration upside. So you can see here in the green stars a number of targets uh, that we have uh, and our geology team has worked up over the course of the last 12 to 18 months. Uh, where We've mobilized drills and are starting to drill on the first of these uh, regional targets, really demonstrating that this 70,000 hectare uh, exploration pattern package in the Bertucci Greenstone Belt, which really is an analog to Red Lake, uh, it's seen only a fraction of the exploration you've seen in the Red Lake camp. So we think in addition to a 5 million ounce deposit, we've got an entire belt uh, and really the most important parts of that belt tied up. So great exploration upside going forward. At Duparquet, you know, you can't say enough about the location. This is 35 kilometers from the city of Rouen, Aranda, uh, you know, in uh, along the Porcupine Destor Fault, which is the same main geological control that stretches over past Timmins, Ontario. This is uh, in the middle of one of the most prolific gold belts in the world and a place where you have every mining contractor you could ever want to talk to within a two-hour drive. So a fantastic place to be developing. Uh, Duparquet is a past producing mine that we acquired 100% uh, ownership of in September of this past year. It has, as I said before, about three and a half million ounces M&I resource, about another million and a half ounces of inferred. Uh, we acquired that for uh, a less than $5 an ounce. And I think this is a, a project that we think uh, when we get some of our scoping information out on potential development, you're going to see real value here and what we think this can become. So, um, you know, we benefit from a lot of work that was done on this project before we acquired it, 270,000 meters of drilling, um, a complete metallurgical study that was done to a pre-feasibility level, a pre-feasibility study, environmental baseline work, uh, and that defined a really uh, interesting project that we think has great opportunity to grow. And one of the things that we really liked about this project as we put out an, an updated resource on it uh, in um, September of this year is that inside the large deposit, there is a smaller, higher grade uh, starter pit. And so that's really, I think, what we're going to look at in our uh, in our PEA that we're kicking off now to really put some economics around a starter opportunity here at Duparquet. But the exploration is fantastic here. It's open along strike. It's open at depth. And a lot of people have forgotten about some of the fantastic drill results that have been pulled out of this deposit, including, you know, things like 10 grams over 16 meters. There's some really attractive exploration that uh, that we think we're just starting to scratch the surface on. So two gold projects in tier one jurisdictions with great exploration upside. And we've just consolidated a land package this morning uh, around Duparquet, which we acquired from IM Gold. So giving us more uh, runway there. So I've talked about the work program. Fundamentally, uh, moving forward, here's where we really see that opportunity 
for a share price re-rating. As we take risk out of these projects, demonstrate the potential, I think we see here an opportunity that is very clearly multiples of our existing share price. So for any more information, uh, you can always uh, reach us at www.firstmininggold.com or uh, info at firstmininggold.com. Thank you for your attention and uh, wish you happy hunting uh, here at VRIC 2023.